of cleaning the bike itself and all the components and the wheels. I'm going to go ahead and install this anti-puncture fat tire liner as well as installing these beach cruise tire three inch wheel tires. Basically I'm going to install the wheel liner then I'm going to install the tube and then I'm going to put it all together on the wheels. Currently these are four inch tires on these fat tire rims so basically I'm going to just do a complete swap and then that way this three inch diameter will be compatible with the four stroke engine bracket setup that is required so stay tuned Just fill it up enough to where it makes the shape of the tube and then we're going to grab the tire liner and just wrap it around. I feel like that works best for me and I was able to then put it inside the tire without really struggling. At first, yeah, I, I struggled but I was trying to find my rhythm and see what works best for me. I feel like this way is a better method if you just unravel this all the way like so and then you grab one end I like to use this as a guide and just wrap it around like so And it is going to be a little tricky at first, but basically you get the wheel liner around like this. You grab your tire that you want to put it in. And what you're going to do is you're going to start working the bottom while you hold the top tube. Start feeding that while holding the tube and the liner itself at the same time. I'm just going to want to start feeding it in like this. So this is the result with the wheel liner on this tube. As you can see, I got it inside the tire, but it's not perfect all around. So I'm just hoping that it does the job and hoping that over time it just settles somewhere in between the middle where it will help reduce any punctures. But now I'm gonna install it on the actual rim and let's see what happens. Stay tuned. So from here, I like to work my way around, go on one side, just putting the tire in on one side and work around until I get that one side in. Surprisingly, this is easier than I thought it was going to be, which is nice. 
and that's how you put the wheel liner and the flat tire tube on this four inch flat tire wheel rim and uh, now it's time to put there. Uh, the new tires are installed on the bike. Those are the old tires. These are the new three inch tires that I installed with the tire line, lining and the self the self sealing tube which again is this brand right here right here is the BBR tuning 38cc lock and load friction bicycle engine kit 4 stroke and that's basically going to be this right here inside and we're going to take a look So here we are guys with the engine installed as you can see I followed all the instructions as directed on the YouTube video that they made specifically for installing this engine. Um, as you can tell by mentioning earlier in the video this is not a traditional bicycle it's an electric bicycle so I had to do a little bit slight modifications to it as I will continue to do so to perfect it. Uh, for now I put it together as best as I could. It's not perfect, but it turns on, it rides, and I'm gonna take it on a test drive here in a little bit to show you guys what, how the bike handles and rides. And basically, the whole point of making this video was to install this gas-powered engine with an electric battery bicycle so that I have a hybrid bicycle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the throttle here to help assist the engine to get up to speed. Once I get up to speed, the engine is gonna do all the work and therefore I can have more mileage with the, the bike and not be able to stop and recharge on just the battery. I could also just continue going on the trips with the gas. So let's get this thing started and see how it does. Let's give it a quick pull here. So I'm gonna give it some throttle here for the electric motor and then this is the gas powered motor throttle. 